Welcome back to Mitten Marijuana. I'm Joe. And I'm Chloe. Today we have a smaller list to talk about. Um, we're going to be banking some episodes. I think three episodes. Yep, pre-recording. Yep, because we're going to be gone on a little vacay. Mm-hmm. To the Punta Cana. I'm so which, excited. Which means we're going to be sober <laughs> from pot. We won't be sober, that's for sure. Yeah, we're going to be taking a little tolerance break and uh, consuming some alcohol instead. <laughs> yep, it'll be fun. Yep, a tolerance break from the weed for uh, binge drinking. <laughs> yeah, like responsible adults do. Yep. It really is just one vice to the other in adulthood, <laughs> to be honest. You just got to pick your vice. Yeah, but we are I wouldn't say we're addicted. We could easily no. just not. No, our it's vice. More fun to not our vice would it, just you know? turn into other healthy coping mechanisms. Yeah. Like hitting the gym more often. Yeah, gym, uh, healthy eating, <laughs> not just eating whatever is available at the time without cooking because cooking when stoned is a nightmare. Yeah. At least personally. Well, we're gonna find out. That leads us into another topic on the list. Uh, how I want to make a. Uh, Potentially make it a video, but testing homemade edibles that we make. So maybe mm -hmm. we can get baked and then bake <laughs> and then get baked again. What do you think? I don't know if I want to get high beforehand. I just because like I already fun. know. Just Joe, I struggled at making spaghetti. We'll have, uh, we'll have <laughs> Gabe come over and babysit us. Okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a plan. Gabe be the babysitter? Yeah, he'll be a trip I feel trip like that's setter. Owen's job. Nah, Gabe's going to be a trip setter. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that would be, that'd be fun. Yeah, she's looking up uh, the edible cookbooks right now. Yep, Small Bites Edibles Cookbook, 1995 at Spencer's. Yep, not bad, not bad. Yep, they also have Snoop Dogg's Cookbook, which mm. I don't think is actually like anything with weed in it i think it's just what oh, snoop dog a, likes a to make cookbook from snoop yeah you know it sounds great a dog's gotta eat oh i love that tiramisu sounds so good right now <laughs> one thing for sure and two things for certain a dog's gotta eat that's yeah. what's on the back of this <laughs> snoop dog cookbook yeah, i love snoop and the boss the spelled with an a <laughs> the boss dog is gonna show you how Thanks, Snoop. That's most definitely what's up, dude. I I love that this just sounds like some uh, transcriptionist was just typing what Snoop Dogg was saying. Mm -hmm. Who better than your big homie Snoop D O double G to show you how to get in the kitchen and get to whip in like a real boss? <laughs> These recipes are Snoop's personal hits straight out of his kitchen and never before shared collection of chart top end meals and family favorites. I'm not like shorthanding these myself. I'm consciously having to. There is not a G in uh, chart top end. There's not a G in there. <laughs> That's awesome. Like this is so well like this is the publisher knows uh their audience and i love it yeah for sure um yeah so that we want to do that mm -hmm. we also want to make these episodes less boring so if you have any ideas on what we can do differently other than saying it's boring yeah say tell us we are actually very receptive I read to all the comments constructive criticism so do not be afraid to yeah, be actually oh, like put details into your comments as to what you didn't like about it in a sense of that way we can avoid it what the hell are you doing long clouds the wrong way out of your way <laughs> what are you he was blowing through like the battery charging hole and it was just <laughs> that's how you clear clogged yeah, but why were you doing it for so long? You were just cool. wasting it. it. Looks cool, man. You're wasting yeah, it. So I'm smoking my, or I'm vaping, rather, <coughs> my mitten extract, uh, the Rainbow Z. Yeah. And Chloe did an edible. 
Yep, I took a Platinum Strawberry Hybrid 10 milligram, and I will probably be hitting my same uh, Platinum cart I've had on my gold battery. We'll give a little uh, tap. Hold on, be quiet for the tap, see if we can hear it. I'm sure that registered. Mm. That's what's up. But I've been smoking this same cart for a while. I am excited to get a Jeter after this, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Jeters, next week's review is going to be on the Tropical Tsunami Jeter. She's going to pull up to make sure I said the correct Jeter. Yeah, hopefully I can uh, get it to week, work. Last week we would have smoked... Um, it's that one. Yeah. Last week we would have smoked uh, Fire OG. We haven't done it yet. We're recording the episode, I think, tomorrow. Most likely. Yeah, we're just recording these out of we're order trying, and we're weird, so these. bear with us. Sour Tsunami, that's what it was. Sour Tsunami. Yeah. My bad, Jeter. And that is an Indica. Uh-huh. So, I'm going to actually look into this. Yeah, and again, with these Jeters, we're sharing them just because of the deal they had. I, I want to buy six of them. And they are plenty for sharing. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can now yeah. get them in Arizona. Yeah, they have hey, added job, California, Arizona. Arizona, and Michigan. Arizona, welcome to the club, the Jeter Club. So if you're listening to this in Arizona, pick yourself up a Jeter and smoke it with us next week. Okay, so this says, what effects does Sour Tsunami have? Now, because of our bad experience trying to mm. record after Granddaddy Purple, I'm now very hesitant on... That or I, said, I'm wanting to be more aware of what to yeah. expect when smoking an indica to be able to prepare on how we can navigate recording the podcast afterward right. to not have what happened in Granddaddy Perp happen again. Yeah, and I think we've I've come to the realization that we're just re going to record these episodes for 30 minutes. Yeah, an hour Instead is... of forcing an hour, if an hour comes naturally... Then great. Send it, but... If we're at 30 minutes and we're at a lull, end it. Yeah. Cut, print, send it to paper, or whatever that saying is. Whatever it is. Yeah. Um. But anyways, this says, what effects does Sour Tsunami have? This strain provides users with relaxing effects. Users will experience a heavy body high accompanied by a low head high. It is the perfect addition to a beach day. That sounds like exactly what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Though, we won't be doing it there, unfortunately. We'll I be know. doing it in two days in in the great mitten state. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're not 21 and up, uh, just ignore everything we say. Yeah. I don't think I need to put that disclaimer in there. I do have all these listed as, like, explicit. Yes. So, um, do, do you, boo-boo. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, what does Sour Tsunami taste like? Uh, has a sweet lime flavor with a light baked spice note on the back end. Ooh. Interesting. They're giving us notes and shit. Where are the terpenes? Let's check out these terpenes. Uh, ain't nothing here. Oh, all right. Because we did have, um, we'd have somebody comment on the last video. Though it got hidden by YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, YouTube, being little because fucking I can't even virgin see it. government boys. But I got I can see it. So uh from Jay Troido, um saying look up Terpene Machines. Looked it up. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Was completely unaware that that kind of shit existed. <coughs> so basically what is it? you can put in uh your either oil into this thing and you put it in the microwave and it separates the terpenes again no one is explaining what the fuck a terpene is to me one day we're gonna figure it out i look up terpenes and it yeah, doesn't are, tell me what, what the, the terpenes fuck do. is the I'm point like, but what, what is, is it? it but i'm sure someone will explain what is it and we're like all right but what is it but like i'm in fifth grade like Explain it to me like, like I'm, I'm a caveman. Man, like, come on, man. Yeah. I, it, it's starting to honestly drive me nuts at this point that I just don't get it. 
I think the next time I go into the dispensary and get chatting with the bud tender, I'm just going to look yeah. at them dead in the face and be what like, explain terpene? it. Yeah. Explain I, it to I me like I'm five. Like, oh, like, and it's got terpene A. Like, what are those? Like, what does that mean? I hope they don't know. I want them. <laughs> I want, I want to them to look together, me dead like, in the face and realize exactly that they also don't about. know. <laughs> like, <laughs> that'd be really fun. But like, what mean. is it? It's just, it'd be funny. Just more of like, what? Like, what the why, fuck is it? Why is everyone stressing about terpenes when we don't even know what the hell it is yet? I mm -hmm. see people know what it is. We don't know what it is. We're I'm behind. We're behind the game. So confused. We're behind the game. We're behind the eight ball. Oh, we're getting Google terpenes again. What the fuck actually are they? And why they have to do watch a YouTube they video on matter? <laughs> what are terpenes and why do they matter? Uh, terpenes are highly uh, aromic compounds that determine the smell of many plants and herbs, such as rosemary and lavender, as well as some animals. What the fuck? Why does that matter in my weed? Why does that matter in, like, how I'm going to feel about it? I don't know. It's a good question. We got to ask a scientist. Cannabis terpenes. What are they and how do they work? Here we go. Finally. <laughs> Thank you, Healthline. <laughs> Hopefully. I haven't read this yet. Uh, term terpene. I'm going to read this. Hold yeah. On. I'll meet your mic so you can just talk to yourself. Um, so we got, so we're going to learn what terpenes are and we'll explain it as easily as we can to you guys also there's a lot more of you guys now on our youtube all of a sudden we hit our goal for march um i'm hoping by the time this episode comes out that we're higher um we're we're still on track to beat march's numbers but march beat february's numbers february's beat january's numbers we're on a good track a good roll i'm looking forward to the future Oh, if you're listening to this on YouTube, thank you. Welcome. We're all we're all family here. <laughs> no, that's that's some weird shit. Um, no, but welcome, welcome to the Stoner Crew or whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, this is a it's gonna be kind of a safe zone where all we do is get high and shit, but only on marijuana and only responsibly. Oh, speaking of irresponsibility, at the the local uh, liquor store, and I was getting some more of my pasties, my favorite smoking drink by far. And I pulled in, and as I was getting situated and about to hop out, hop out the whip, a car pulls in next to me. And the entire time they're pulling around me, I'm looking over, and the dude is drinking straight out of a tall boy Budweiser. Like, bro. I wasn't... I was like, alright, wait, this guy's a, clearly still a dirtbag. So I was like, well, f whatever, dude. I, I go in, and he's still in his car. I'm coming out, walking back to my car, and I then I look over and I see his car because it's still there. And... The side of it is just fucking gouged out. It's just ripped to th shreds. Mm. It looks like someone took a can opener and opened it. Yeah. Like, this shit was gnarly. I was like, all right. <laughs> I, I had to call a cops. I'm like, all right, this dude's too fucking much. But <clears throat> I didn't hear anything else. No one ever called me. But <laughs> Thank you for keeping the roads safe. I'm doing my part. So be responsible is what I'm saying. Yeah, and I that can't... brings us to our first commercial break. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by our Patreon. They're the only ones that'll sponsor us. Oh uh, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, but if you want to watch our smoke breaks where we do when we do the reviews, we smoke because you have to to review it. Right. Um, if you want to watch those, subscribe to the Patreon. It's four dollars twenty cents a month, four twenty. Um, and you can see all the times it smoke. And in the last one, especially, you can see the moment that I'm out. Yeah. The 
it's kind of crazy because when we do the reviews, a lot of times we're just kind of recapping on a lot of what we say out in those smoke breaks. Yeah. So you kind of, in our smoke breaks, you see it as it happens as opposed to an actual recap. So you can see how long it takes for certain effects to sometimes hit and just how wildly different that they affect two people because yes. you can kind of, in the limoncello, you can tell when Joe hits the sack and when I look like I did a line of coke. <laughs> like, yeah. It's kind of crazy at how wildly different that specific experience was, which is kind of what's making me very excited for Fire OG and this um, sour tsunami. Yeah, this can, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we might even do one of them outside, depending on the weather. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. We'll the weather see. here has been in stupid. Uh, Beth was telling me she was just in Indiana this like mm -hmm. literally yesterday. Seventy five degrees and sunny. People were Crazy. mowing their lawns today. Mind you, where we're at was overcast and like forty two. Yeah, not terrible. It was anyway. Back to what I was talking about. Um, we're sponsored by our Patreon. Oh. If you're a member of the Patreon, you also get these episodes the Sunday before they come out. So, mm -hmm. uh, you would have gotten this episode like this one's supposed to come out on the what day? You're the what's one. the calendar look like? On Wednesday while we're gone, but you'd actually get it Sunday, the day we fly. You're, you'd be listening to this oh. while we were in the air. Seventh. Yeah. So this episode would come out on the tenth, but it will uh normal for everyone else. But if you're a Patreon member, you get it on the seventh. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. You know how this shit works. Patreon's been around. You get long it Sunday early. And Sunday before the episode, you get Some that. And you get the, the smoke sashes, the smoke breaks that's only on the Patreon because I'm pretty confident YouTube would actually fucking kill me. <laughs> Though I upload them yeah. to YouTube to put on my Patreon, so make that make sense. Yeah. Um, that's about it for that, uh, for the for our ad read. Really good, <laughs> concise ad read. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the links will be in the description below, <clears throat> no matter where you're listening to this. Should be anyway. Yeah, but next week, it's 420. Mm. According to when this episode's coming out. Anyway. Yeah. The, it will be, uh, yeah, it's, it's not like literally week. on the day this episode comes out. It's the Friday after. It's a Saturday. Saturday after. Oh, there, I'm in a movie. Mm. Uh, I'll be filming a movie that week, that weekend, so. Wait, you said this comes out on the 10th, so it'd be not the, yeah. that Saturday, but obviously the Saturday after, so. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's this Saturday, I'm saying it's the next episode's, next episode's like the 420 special episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Sour Tsunami. Yeah. Um, yeah. So next week is the 420 episode, and I don't know how it's going to be much different, if I'm being honest. We'll probably run a, if I can offer a deal, there will be a deal on the patreon if it allows me i don't think it's i don't think they're cool like that do 42 percent off that'd be what's up because you can't do it's 42.0 4.2 percent 42.0 we'll do 420 percent off oh my we'll pay goodness. you <laughs> well that would be so that's not much true too. that'd be say everyone would subscribe and they'd be, be like millions yeah. fuck fuck that's fun. not happening. That's not possible. No. If they but even w allowed us to offer that, I love be how insane. when we first started this already, like we are still brand new in this. Like the first episode, we were talking about 420 and what we'll do. Look mm -hmm. where we are. <laughs> Look where we are. Not doing really yeah, anything. I thought, I thought we'd be doing a little bit better, to be honest with you. I. I, to me, we're doing better than I expected, but I always yeah, after all my high I hopes died down. I was the, like, "Oh, never! This is about 
this is reality. We're doing very well. We're doing better than my new expectations. Yeah. Would it have uh, been fun to like have an immediate pop off? Possibly. Um, but I think this is healthy growth. I think this is healthy foundational growth that we're having that will help carry us for the long haul instead of being one hit wonders. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think some of these episodes are definitely one hit wonders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, we're just not that good. We're not pro yet, but we're learning. Yeah. We'll get, there. I think that's the important thing for sure. Yeah, which is what I say of we're actively learning. <laughs> now we know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. To quote to quote the great woman. Yeah. Now we know. Haunted my life. <laughs> I love that that just became like the motto for Florida. <laughs> yeah. Eventually really just fun. Now we know. I'm literally not saying. Oh, maybe I can be in Creator Hub. Yeah, you said that you have to upload to YouTube to upload to Patreon. Yeah, make it make sense. Is that just how Patreon works? Um, it, the videos are too long to upload to Patreon on their own. Oh, uh, okay. So I have to upload them to a site that's not whack. <laughs> Basically. I do think that's kind of wild that YouTube kind of has this weird monopoly on fo on video links. I mean, I could put it on Vimeo. I because... Guess. Actually, I, don't, I think Vimeo makes you... I think only wants to upload so much, too. Fuck yeah. You, you're not allowed like to you'd... have long-form content on these sites. Yeah, I know that I've had to, like, upload videos. I don't even remember what of ever. Um, Edit tears, maybe. I've had to upload a video to YouTube to send to somebody, like in a text message, because it was too long. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Well, anyway. and I remember YouTube back in the day when it would uh charge you money oh, to big. upload over ten minutes, and then as soon as they got rid of. Mm -hmm the payment form they immediately built it into the analytics of now the only way your videos are going to get pushed are if they are over 10 minutes long and yeah and that keeps apocalypse. that changes constantly ads have been so rough on youtube luckily i don't give a shit yeah <laughs> I but you had to have that anyway. 10 minute to get the mid-roll yeah. ad that everyone relied on so much which crazy um I had, so that's why my, a million videos on YouTube are 10 I, minutes every time and one second. My <laughs> other channel hits the mark. Like before they had all those weird rules, mm -hmm. like I, I was getting money on YouTube. Like I was mm -hmm. getting ad revenue. And then they changed it. Now mm -hmm. it was like it have a thousand subs mm -hmm. and like a million, you know, a certain number of listening hours, which is fucking absurd. <laughs> all right, whatever. But now I don't have it. And every time I'd hit one of the milestones, they'd be like, oh, now you need now, it's up. Now you need 100 listening hours, too. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I know. <laughs> but I just want, as soon as the fucking ad revenue went away, one of my videos did bonkers in India and it had half a million views. Oh, no. Where's my money, YouTube? Why'd you push it after my ad revenue went away? What the fuck's that all about? I've been listening to a lot of um, Smosh content lately, specifically because Anthony rejoined um, and listening to Ian and Anthony talk about like how wild YouTube is now as compared to when they started on Smosh.com and everything like that. And I'm like, I... They're not even talking about the point of you had to pay to upload a video more than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's why videos were so short. Yeah. I mean, I think... They're... I miss OG YouTube sometimes. Yeah. I Do you know what the first uh, YouTube video was? Mm-mm. It was the creator of YouTube uh, at the zoo. Really? Yeah. I remember watching that video in like 2006. Really? 
YouTube came out in 05. I was there in 06. What's up? Yeah, I was in 07. Yeah, I'm a early adopter, as you will. Where'd I get with it? Nowhere. Fucking nowhere. <laughs> but it is Not kind of... It didn't work out. It is kind of like... Weird and nice to be a YouTube kid at, I guess, at this age of a grown adult. Um, because I have been there since 2007 religiously. And so when I hear content creators like Ian and Anthony talk about how the early days of YouTube were from them navig like migrating over from smosh.com that was founded in 2004 or 5 over to YouTube knowing what they were experiencing as well at that time and how content was made and how out of pocket it was then compared to what you can get away with now mm -hmm. YouTube was just such a different world then and I kind of miss it yeah. I miss how carefree it was. Yeah, YouTube was... It used to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Now it's stressful and just people trying to make money. Like... It was more Ryan, fun when people weren't making money. Like, Ryan Higa's How to Be Ninja oh, yeah, is, is an iconic video. But fun. could he get away with it now? Sure. Fuck it. Only because he has the audience. But if that video were to be uploaded today, yeah, all of the comments video, would just be... Dude. <laughs> That, that how insanely racist it is. Yeah. Even though he is of the race that holds right. that culture. I just don't get it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to go to that. Jesus Christ. Listen. Um, I got my hair cut. Lopped the whole damn thing off. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more hair. Bald. I'm completely bald. I can wax that head. I'm like King Neptune. Mm-hmm. It's thinning. <laughs> no, I I still fair. I'm not going bald. No. Though I wear a hat all the time. It's not affecting my <laughs> I know. Hair. I don't think anyone's seen your hair. Oh yeah. That, I think the very first uh live or like filmed episode, my hair is in it. Yeah, go to our go to our podcast. Hit videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I know what I'm talking about. Episode three. All mm -hmm. right. Yep, I know what I'm talking so, about. So uh, that bun's not there anymore. Nope, no more bun. <laughs> no more bun. <laughs> mm. I cut it out for a couple reasons. One, bored. Uh, we were going on this vacation. I wanted to not have a thick-ass head of hair in a hot-ass <laughs> humid place. Yeah, your hair is stupid. Especially thick. with all the salt water. I didn't want to fucking deal with it. It was going to hurt my hair, so get rid of the hair. Mm -hmm. Kill it so it don't hurt. Um, and then because I joined a baseball team. Maybe. <laughs> um, as of the recording of this episode, it looks like everything's good and I will be on the team. But I am crossing fingers for you. It's not up to me. I know. It's up to God at this point. <laughs> it's up to her. There you go. There you go. Also, uh, what streak are you on on Duolingo right now? Oh, um, let me check. Please. I am on day <laughs> six sixty nine. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm on day seven. <laughs> um, so I'm doing pretty good, but. I play it very different. Yeah. Um. Chloe so this week's it. XP, or one hour left. I'm still at number one. Uh -huh. Yeah. XP, this week's I XP. Got. I am at one eighty-seven. I'm at one thousand five hundred eighty-three. <laughs> I'm doing French. And she's doing Japanese. I am doing well. This uh, past Italian. week, I've been doing Italian. Yeah, all right. I, I I just stick to one because I want to. I, I want to know the language and I just know some words in the language. So I don't think Duolingo is honestly I, the best for learning a language. It's not. it's great if you think you might get lost in this country. You can yeah, kind of get the fuck out. It's but it's not so much decent conversational. Like yeah. I learned you more can... French. In French class, 
you can use this as like a building block in your language learning journey like um evan edinger actually another youtuber um he is the person that actually got me back into wanting to use duolingo i've used it on and off for years um because he was learning german but on top of using Duolingo, he was starting to read, like, familiar children's books in German and watching some of his favorite shows in German or even watching stuff naturally in German with, like, English subtitles. And he was, like, also doing other language learning outside yeah. of Duolingo. And it worked really well for him. Um, so this gave him, like the basic understanding of the language enough to be able to utilize it in real life. Um, oh, you follow a lot of people on Duolingo. Like I said, I've been using it a lot on and off for uh, many years. But I've recently been actively rotationally learning uh, Japanese, Korean, and Italian now. Um, mostly Japanese and Korean. Um, actually, I've actually been learning pinyin in Chinese because I'm at the point in my Japanese learning that having an understanding of how Chinese works might actually benefit me. Uh, so I'm trying to see if learning a bit of how Chinese characters work will help or not. Right. Because I am losing track in Japanese of what the hell I'm reading. I don't recognize the characters anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, I have a method. So I, I'm always trying to finish. I love leaderboards. I'm addicted <laughs> to being on top of them. Especially if I can see a route. Like, obviously, sometimes there's just no fucking shot. But, mm -hmm. man, if I can see that I'm close... Oh. To being in the top three, I gun it. And if I'm if I'm doing pretty good in the three, I'll go for one. Right now, I'm sitting number one in the bronze league. So not huge flex. Which is so crazy because I'm number six in the gold league. So I am two leagues ahead of you. Yeah, no one's And no now. one's using their XP. The, no, these no are one grinds like, like I grind. These I'm are all people time. like I've been in the gold league, I think, for weeks now. Because it's all people kind of doing the same thing I am of just extending their language. streak. At yeah. like many days at this point for me mm -hmm. are less about utilizing language learning and yeah. just extending my streak. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's really it. They get so high up, they stop caring about the leaderboard and they're being pushed on by not wanting to mark an X on a, not missing a day. They want Alyssa got to number one in the highest league one That's time. That's what's up. I'm going to be that. Just, just once. I'll be there. She didn't like finish the week there, but oh. she like got herself to that spot. I'm finishing it. I'm getting that, I'm getting that trophy. And then, you know, life happened and. uh Yeah. So maybe it won't happen, but. <laughs> as of right now i'm getting yeah that's the thing that kind of sucks is like you can build and build and build up to this leaderboard mm -hmm. to and then life happens and you're fine. there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten floors i guess ten levels to this uh leaderboard um and each leaderboard too has a different number of participants in it so i do know that like in some of these ones coming up here you will only be able to advance forward in like the top three spots um the next like 10 spots below that you just stay in the same league you don't advance and then they have their demotion zone whereas like gold league the first 10 people advance mm-hmm yeah and that's all i'm trying to do right now i'm in, i'm in sixth place and so i'm you'll advance i am perfectly content where i'm at yeah. i'm far enough away from the bottom of the promotion zone to feel confident that i will not be booted out yeah but i'm n not stressing to get any higher to the top <laughs> i so don't care the bottom of our promotion zone is 81 xp 
And the bottom of my demotion zone is 54. That's crazy. But my ours has a wider span of XPs between them. Yeah. From my 1583 to this dude's 81. And this is 54 to 322. Yeah, I get there. What's a gold at? Like, where's that at in the little... Um, So you're in bronze, then it I'm goes the silver, and then gold. Okay. All right. I'll catch up. Um, I'll catch up. Um, but here's my my little strat for uh, grinding out XP. I wait till I get double XPs, and then I do. In French, they have the stories, and when you want to make it legendary, it's uh eighty XP instead of forty XP. Okay, so there's bronze, That's silver, gold, sapphire, ruby, emerald, amethyst, pearl, obsidian, and Holy diamond. Shit. Yeah, those are so many. All right, on the way to diamond. And then there's diamond tournament. I feel like these are not right. Hmm. Huh. Anyway. No, that, that is right. I Oh, because I keep thinking all the time that Sapphire is diamond. Oh. Doi. Uh, I well, think the highest I ever got was... Well, we're not going home. Emerald or Amethyst. Well, I think that's... Uh, it's a wrap. Yeah. Remember... Uh, check out the Patreon. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do a, a free seven day trial for 420. So that'll yeah. go live um on that Wednesday. Actually, we'll do it on Sunday. We'll do it on Sunday, um, the week before the um week before the. 420 special so on the 14th on the 14th go to our patreon uh and hit that free trial you can see for seven days you can go back watch all the videos and then you'll be able to watch um our 420 special plus the smoke break episode on on the patreon and i'll all be there waiting for you you watch it before everyone else but I mean, maybe not because it's seven days and maybe everyone else also gets it. But you know the deal. Check it out. Uh, check out all of, our, all of our social medias. I'm pretty pretty on top of Twitter. I've been uh, or an X. I go on there and I, I like and retweet a bunch of shit because it's all weed stuff on my uh, Twitter page. My, you know, the thing. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, my Twitter is so, so fucked. <laughs> I've been retweeting a bunch of stuff lately. A lot of cool stuff. Weed related stuff. <laughs> so Yeah. Um, that's what's up. Chloe, do you have anything? Nope. Alright, well. Link trees, mint marijuana. We'll see you uh, next week. <laughs>